In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 27, where we will look at the blessing of Israel. Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 27 says, The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, Thus you shall bless the people of Israel. You shall say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So shall they put my name upon the people of Israel, and I will bless them. It's easy to get bogged down in all the different laws that exist in the Pentateuch. That's the first five books of the Bible. It's really easy to look at these different restrictions on behavior that the Lord gives to Israel and say, oh man, I don't need to read all that. I can just skip it and be okay. Here's the deal though. Built in to these restrictions on the behavior of Israel, built into these dietary laws and these cultic rituals that they were practicing in worship are also the many blessings that God is sharing with Israel that he is giving to them as a part of being his special people. In Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 27, we'll see a couple of those blessings. Thought number one, keep you. The idea of the Lord keeping Israel means may the Lord keep you safe. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord provide you with health. May he sustain you through anything that might possibly come your way. The idea of the Lord keeping Israel is the concept of his loving provision. This is something that the people of Israel had been experiencing this entire time as they wander through the wilderness. As the Lord provides them with the food that they need to survive. He provides them with water, manna, and safety from their enemies. The blessing, may the Lord keep you, is Aaron and the later high priests trusting that the Lord is going to take care of his covenant people. Thought number two, be gracious to you. The idea of graciousness is getting what you don't deserve. And Israel all the time is receiving from the Lord better than what they deserve. If you've been Going through the Bible with me, you've seen that Israel is not necessarily all that great at obeying the Lord's commands. They are often rebellious and frequently worshiping other gods. But the blessing from the high priest that the Lord commands Aaron to give to the people is that the Lord be gracious to them, that the Lord give them more than what they burned. Thought number three, give you peace. Peace is something that we all desire, want, and need. Peace is something that can only be had through our Heavenly Father. When we're left to our own devices, we inevitably wage war against each other. Whether it's on a national level, tribal, family, individual, when we're left to our own sort of choices, we inevitably end up in conflict. But our Heavenly Father blesses us with peace. He blesses us with safety from our enemies and consideration of one another. The great blessing for Israel is that the Lord grant them peace. And insofar as they are obedient to God, he gives them this great gift. The greatest peace that we have, the greatest demonstration of the Lord's graciousness and the way in which he keeps us ultimately is through the sacrificial work of Jesus Christ on the cross. It is through him we ultimately receive the greatest blessing from God, a reconciled relationship with him. These three thoughts come to you from the assigned reading of Numbers chapters 5 through 8. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by joining the Facebook group, Through the Bible. 
where we are reading the text of scripture together.